So just to let you guys know, I'm on a clean account for this video. I'm literally showing you guys like what you could do on the default experience. So when you log in the server, you're gonna run up to Dingle here and Dingle is gonna give you 100 coins, 100 XP and 100 tokens. This doesn't really give you much, but any coins can help you, anything can help you. Like, so we're gonna queue in a game and I'm gonna explain to you guys what you guys are gonna need to do. Okay, so in this game, the kit that we're gonna try to go to is Archer Kit. So let me tell you guys why Archer Kit is so OP. So Archer Kit has a class of successfully hitting an enemy with a fully charged bow shot is a 15% a chance to apply region two and speed one for 12 seconds this is insane because you could play at a range and you can melee if you want but our goal for this is to try and get a sharp two to sharp three diamond and a power two to power three bow whatever falls in our hands the ideal situation to rush with in hot blade and to get a win is a sharp three diamond and a power two bow or a power three bow i remember in the last video in the last guide video that i did months ago i also kind of did the same like a similar thing but instead i was playing warrior warrior is still a valid kit don't get me wrong i just do think that archer is better because it's easier to do whatever you need to do in this game too i'm also kind of going to go in depth i might try to show you guys some of the really underrated crafts there are so many underrated crafts that a lot of people don't craft like agony i'd argue this is genuinely like one of the best and easiest crafts to make it can flip a flight instantly um there are also other crafts that are just so op i can explain some of the legendaries that were new and added in season three so aglos which is one on the easier side of crafts which is essentially a trident that can cause an explosion it can also be used as a self boost which is what a lot of people do shadow blade which is very hard to get this is more of an ancient city kind of thing so if we find an ancient city i'll go in more in depth in depth with it the reinforced elytra which again it's a stronghold item so if we get it i'll go more in depth with it and finally the void staff which is a decent item i don't think it's something that i would personally rush something else i will also try to mention is the first thing that you guys should do with your coins first thing that you guys should upgrade with your coins is one of two things either the player head speed or the golden nuggets i think the golden nuggets is probably the best thing that you can upgrade because it's essentially just an extra piece of gold per kill and gold is just like the most important thing on the server but honestly, there's a lot of things that you can upgrade. Even upgrading your kit up, picking a kit and upgrading it to level three is also pretty efficient. That's just on, on more of the long term. Okay, so on the dragon, your goal should be to look for a structure, but a structure that is above ground and something that you can obtain with the archer kit especially in the early stages you're not really given any tools to use apart from a bow and feathers but obviously we can't really use that so we're going to need to try to find a structure that we can land on go in and look there's a structure perfect oh there's a chest right here I'll grab the bones the bones aren't bad and i think this is all good so i'm literally just gonna leave I'm gonna jump in the water over here so our goal should be around to try to get 12 pieces of sugar cane and four pieces of leather that equivalates to a sharpness three diamond and here we're gonna get about four pieces of logs and we're gonna just go and get a pickaxe real quick we need to try and do that as fast as possible honestly i will tell you guys now hoplite is all about efficiency you need to be as quick as you can you need to move as quick as you can this game requires you to think on your toes don't be stressed if you're a newer player and you're not really doing that i will say game sense is very hard and it is something that is developed it's not, like you don't really start with it you just have to develop it and that's it that's okay obviously me who's someone who's played uhc for a very very long time is going to have a lot more game sense than someone who's really new so don't stress if you guys aren't perfect at the start no one is i promise we have all our tools we're gonna run in and look for some cows i get a little more wood we don't need that much we're gonna find our cows and then we're gonna go okay next. honestly this strategy is more based for newer players my strategy to be honest with you as someone who's been Nether rushing for so long is just to rush nether just because my brain is kind of so used to doing it but if you are a newer player this is the best like this is how you will win this is how you will get wins like efficiently if you are someone who can pvp well too this is the best way to get wins i promise you guys that this strategy is reliable and it works almost always finally we found some horses too so typically when you want to go caving you want to try and look for a surface cave but nine times out of ten most surface caves are going to be kind of bad so honestly i'm going to just grab this iron because i kind of need it and we're gonna grab both of our water buckets so we don't have to stress about finding cave water, like two sources of cave water to make our obby. And then we're just gonna like literally jump down any cave. That one, I think that one has one. Okay, got both of them. Now we can go down. So now the goal is to try and get about four diamonds and 16-ish gold. That's around three gaps and a sharp three diamonds. So we're going to go down this cave and no cave. It's fine. We can just dig down. So if you guys don't know what the view bobbing bug is, this is also a quick tip. Go into your settings, options, video settings, and it'll be view bobbing. You need to have that setting on and you can just kind of run back and forth to find caves it is a very efficient strategy i literally do this all the time it's how i find my caves okay another tip always mine xp redstone lapis anything that gives you xp well not anything the main things that give you xp mine it oh there we go oh wait no two 
Nice. At least we can make an enchant table. The fact that we don't have a diamond sword is a little concerning, but honestly, it's okay. A lot of people have asked me, if you get two diamonds, what should I make a diamond sword and an enchant table? The answer is always an enchant table. Having protection armor is such a difference maker. People don't actually understand how much of a difference maker it is. And I just think having an enchant table is really efficient. Luckily, we do have a couple gaps, which will do us a lot of good. And honestly, with some of with my game sense, we could probably pay for a really good game. Luckily, we're finding a lot of gold right now, which is just insanely good. And I saw a cave back there. So honestly, I don't mind staying down a little longer just to kind of get that diamond sword. You don't always have to be up at PvP, but your goal should be to try to be up at PvP. If you're not, it's okay. It's not that big of a deal. Cobwebs, let me tell you, bro. These will change your game. If you have the chance to get cobwebs, get them. Always, always, always freaking get them. I'm gonna get a little bit of string too, kind of make my life easier with books. I'm gonna get three pieces of string to make that power too, but always try to get cobwebs. We're gonna go down that cave. We have about six cobwebs. The max is eight, so having six is really good, but I just wanna see if there's literally any last minute diamonds that we can get unfortunately i don't think there is which really really does suck make the armor let's make an anvil and let's make two iron swords we'll have a sharp two iron so we'll have better than what everyone else is going to have if they're unenchanted of course we're going to make another bow we're going to make the enchant table and we're going to just enchant everything so your goal should be to try to get prod and sharp on everything having one proj prod piece isn't bad because a lot of people do like to bow let me enchant that perfect and we literally have all of the enchants that we're gonna need okay perfect and we are set we just need to go up we need to shear and i need to mine gravel so wherever gravel is all right perfect we're gonna just get literally all of this gravel okay we need to get up to the surface i need to stop staying in the cave i'm gonna be here forever if i don't go up we need to take a smart fight preferably someone with a diamond sword your first fight should always be someone with around even or a little bit better gear than you fighting someone with less gear than you is just never a good fight unless they're not really good at the game and you can kind of tell with the stuff that i have right now my goal should be to fight someone with either a diamond piece or a diamond sword one or the other so let's craft all of our arrows let's make our shears and then let's make our way towards zero zero okay light apple light apple okay we're good there's a guy right here kotez what is this guy on i think this is someone we can fight he's already running from me he's on 44 let's see if we can bow him down let's see if we can get him to fight me he's on 40. if i see someone else i'm gonna try and go for them but i don't know why this guy is really running for me two people over here oh this guy is the perfect kill dayton this guy would be the kill that is perfect or this guy 37 on this guy we can try and fight Dayton. Actually, no, I want to fight this pants guy. I think the pants guy is the guy that I fight. Oh my, you have a really good bow. I'm going to run for a second. We're going to run for a second? No, 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 no. I want you to fight me. Just away from the water. Okay, we're going to quit this guy out. Watch our back. Make sure that no one else is coming. I think this guy has the strong pull boot because he has a flame punch breath. And I'm getting backstabbed. Where did you come from? Hello? You need to watch out. Get out of here. I could kill this cure ability guy. I wouldn't mind trying to kill this guy either. Both of these guys are kills that I could use, but this guy is just bowing at me for some reason. This guy's getting messed up. This guy's on 18. There we go. Finally, the perk went crazy. Your ability ate a golden head. I think that's his only one. So, it's another guy with pants. Dogo Taco. Oh! We're destroying this guy. Okay, we're just gonna keep pushing up. We get a gap. It's okay. We can keep going. We're kind of destroying this guy. He's on 14. Okay, I think he's out of healing, but... He's on 6. He's out of gaps for sure. I can just bow him down. 4, 1, that Nice. We have a G-head. We have a piece. We have our diamond sword. We're gonna just enchant some books. Sharpness book already, and we have a sharp 2 diamond. Okay. Honestly, a good kill. We still have 42 arrows. We still have a bunch of blocks. And I'm gonna make my tracker packs right now. Oh wait, no, I don't even need to. We can kill this guy. This is the guy from before with the power, with the punch, with the punch bow. I'm pretty sure this guy has the warden room or the ancient city loot. Cause he has diamond pants and he has a flame and punch. So that's kind of just like an indicator that he has the warden room. Right now, that we need to take the game a little slower and kind of reassess like what fights are worth it. Cause we have very limited healing and there are still a lot of good players in this game alive. Dogo Taco deck. I think that guy was also in the ancient city because he also had diamond Pants. Okay, we're gonna make both of our tracker packs right now and we're gonna go look for some people. There's a guy right here, full on guy. Oh my god, this is the perfect fight. Oh, he knows this is Mason. Okay, Mason has a short sword, but he's a chest fight. This could be a really good fight for me. We got a shot off and I got the perks. Okay, I'm gonna run at him. I'm gonna use my thing to run at him and we're just gonna try to fight him. I have a better sword so I can kind of go in. Got him in the web. 
and we dropped them. Oh my goodness, perfect. So, a quick a quick explanation of what I did there and why I did it. There, I had a way better sword than Mason, as he only had a short sword. Oh, this guy has an axe. Okay, hold up. I need to run and think for a second. So, I had better a better sword than him, so I could just kind of take a trade. What this guy has is a tin axe, so it's probably a fire sword axe. So, I need to keep my distance and bow him. Oh, I got the I got the perk. Nice. We're gonna run for a second, and I'm just gonna bow. Honestly, I'm just gonna play back and bow because I do not know what these guys want from me. This is not a fight that I can take right now because I'm just gonna get clean. Right now, with extra heads, I'm gonna make my Aries blessings and see what I can get. I'm just gonna let these guys kind of duke it out. I can also enchant my chest plate, but oh, I'm making one more. That is actually just a atrocious luck. Okay, 16 gold. That's a lot better luck. Wait, these guys are fighting over here. Oh my god. Okay, I gotta go clean this. Because Mini on 36 and Kotez is on 18. Okay, I need to focus this Kotez guy. I have Dayton behind me, so I need to remember that. Remember, guys, take your fight smart. Wait, this guy in the cave. Oh my god, this is my fight. This is the this is the guy with diamond pants. I need to jump him. I need to jump him. Get in the cave. This is the guy I need to kill. I need to commit to this fight. I can dig up faster. Oh, he got grapple. Yeah, in the one button. Cut him out. That's perfect. Oh my goodness. GG. Nice. Okay. The reason why I turned around on that guy in the cave was because he had a flame punch bow and I was never going to kill him. Yep. I was right. Flame punch. Oh, sharpness three book. Music disc. Fragments. Did this guy have shards? If I get gunpowder, I can make sonic crossbow. Oh my goodness. Prop four. Oh my goodness. The literal perfect kill. Perfect. Okay. We're going to make the golden head. We're going to make all of our gold nuggets. We're going to make our healing. And then we're going to get out of this death pit. I'm going to hold on to the bossy cobble too for when I decide I can make Gerald. Okay. Let's get the hell out of here. At this point in the game, I'm actually just so, I like just the craziest turnaround from kills. This is what I mean, guys. You guys don't need to be the best mechanically skilled player. You don't need to be the best player in the lobby. You just need to literally find the perfect kills. We're gonna just work on getting a couple more levels and we're gonna get this flame though. Let's just kill a couple more mobs. Let's just go look for people, bro. I'm just gonna track it right here. Oh, he messed up. Jump me. Okay, I'm gonna pop the G head. Oh my god, that guy destroyed me. Yo, good fight. We're gonna make the Gerald. Um, yo, oh my goodness. Ooh, that's a little embarrassing. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Now we have the sharp three glows, so we have this new item. I'm gonna show you guys some hidden tech with glows on how to self boost yourself. It is the most broken thing ever. We're gonna use the last set of our dogs, and honestly, let's just go kill people. So the tech with glows. Let me show you guys. We're going to look at the ground and in the direction that you want to run to, and right here. So you just have to look at the ground, and you just have to hold W, and it'll just self boost you. Okay, this guy just three pops. This guy's pots. Oh no. Oh, I don't want to kill him. I kind of feel bad. Oh, oh, okay, okay. I'm just gonna not be scummy. I'm gonna self, I'm gonna boost him from here. Oh, uh, okay. We're gonna need to get this loot quickly because we are getting cleaned. Just gonna bow date in a little bit. I'm gonna bow him off the loot. I'm gonna pop this. We're gonna put fire spec on the A glows. And okay, I think it's safe to say this game is won. It's gonna be annoying to self boost now, which kind of sucks, but it's okay. I think it's so worth it. We can just run at this guy. I speed and strength. Oh, wait, where did my eagles go? Huh, so something to know. When you have a full inventory, your eagles will drop out of your inventory. I'm just kind of going on dating here. We just have such better loot. He's so low. Can I bow him? Four, six. He just ate a. What? I turn around and bow this guy. Oh, he wants smoke again. Get the water that hurts. Doesn't help that the server's lagging. He did you had it. I can just eat a regular gap. Oh my god, Dayton. You're so laggy. I'm gonna eat the jihad. Get the kill. Nice. We have to just fight this guy. Okay, we're gonna 
punch this guy away. Throw the eggless at him. Get him on fire, and we're just gonna commit back. He has a G head in his hands. I'm gonna put a regular head in my hands. We, we can just keep pushing. Like, at this point in the game, guys, if you were ever distracted, you can literally just play as aggressive as you want. I'm just trying to show you guys that I just played this game so perfectly. Like, I literally had almost nothing, and I just played it perfectly and took my fights really well, and, like, I just won with ease. This guy should die. I'm gonna get an axe crate here for the fire spec two. So he takes more ticks. 12, seven. Nice. I'm gonna show you guys what I would do in this situation. In this situation, the middle of the map is the most important place that you can go to in the deathmatch. It gives you valuable resources such as gaps, diamonds, arrows, etc. So we're gonna just self boost to the middle. We're just gonna get all the gaps and then I'm gonna back up and I'm gonna just craft some stuff because as much as I wanna go kill everyone, I think it is the better way to craft. So gaps, gaps, arrow, diamond, diamonds, and just all the diamonds. This guy's full diamond, oh my God. I'm just gonna go away from this guy. We're gonna make all of our gaps. We're going to... These guys are just fighting it out. We can just kind of clean them up. Dead. That guy died really quick. We can run at this guy. We're gonna save that full diamond guy for last. Nine. Pop up. Dead. Nice. The full diamond guy killed the last guy, so we're gonna have to try to mess this guy up. Where is this guy? In the corner over here. Okay. We're messing this guy up. We have the dogs to kind of help us out. Get him, dog. We're just gonna go for crits. We just get the crit him out. Get him, dogs! Get him, dogs! Get him, dogs! No! He's so low. Oh, GG's, guys. That is how you guys efficiently win in Season 3 of Hot Flight. I hope you guys enjoyed. I tried my best to give you guys the best description possible on how to win these games. You guys should try to follow that strategy. Remember, the Archer Kit and a Sharp 2 Diamond Power 2 Bow take your fights wisely, and it is really easy to win. I will try to make more videos like this because the first one did really great. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys. Great night. Thank you guys so much for 10k. Peace out.